Alrighty, are you the kind of person that makes clothing and does not succeed all the time with clothing where your inventory becomes- <laughs> Well, not like this. What's- what's- I wonder what this king. Ooh, actually doesn't look too bad on me, but anyway. <laughs> where your- where your inventory gets filled up, like... This. Where you have a bunch of samples of shirts. And... It- it doesn't look right. Well, today... I'm going to be showing you a great trick and useful feature to test things without officially uploading them to Roblox. But before we do that, obviously, we need to start with a template. Alrighty, <clears throat> first things first, we need to come up with a design. Now, first things first, we need to get the shirt template if you're doing a shirt template. Now, if you're doing a pants template, it's different, but we're going to be doing the shirt template. So, first things first, if you don't have GIMP, I use it a lot of my tutorials, make you go ahead and get that for starters. Um, version I'm at is 2.10.30, so if you want to have the same version exact with mine, that's if you can get this version, go ahead and do that. But anyway, once we have this, first things first, we want to right click. Actually, yeah, we want to right click. We're going to make a new layer. And call the layer whatever you want. We're just gonna name it layer. And the reason why is because we're going to actually I don't think we do need to make the layer. It it, it depends. It doesn't matter which way you do it. It's just as long as it's in this border. I'm gonna do it in the new layer just because I feel the need to do it in the new layer. I don't think it would matter, but if it does become an issue where it matters, then yeah. So Let's, uh, first things first, let's pick a color. So, torso. This is torso. Torso is pretty much the full shirt. The full shirt. So the sides, the front, and the back. Then you have your arms, which is your left and right. Now, if you're doing short sleeve, short sleeve, I gotta remember how this works, because it folds up. It kind of gives you a reference here. So you would, I think if I'm correct, if you would want to do a short sleeve, you would have to like select half of the color, then attach it with the, the U, which is the top of the torso. And yes, you actually, you do want to do it to where you don't have this layer because then if you do a short sleeve, it'll be transparent. So yeah. First things first, let's get ourselves a design going. So <clears throat> I'm going to do a short sleeve because I feel the need to do a short sleeve. And we're gonna do it with a blue. So blue I have in mind. We're gonna do that blue, okay? Now, this is where zooming in really comes in handy. And you can get the position points. Now, the short sleeve, this is what's nice, is what we're gonna show on how to preview stuff. If the short the sleeve is not perfect, to your standards what's nice is we can go back and we can fix it when we uh, exploit so I'm gonna do about there actually we're gonna go up just a bit right about here we have the new layer so we're just gonna paint over it now you're probably wondering okay where do we get the fancy clothing where you see the wrinkles and all that we'll get to that process later and that that's process is a simp it is really simple, but we will have to do something else as well if short sleeve. Now, if long sleeve, you got no problem. But if short sleeve, yeah, we got to do something else as well because it uh, has a, a process. And also, you never also, like if you do long sleeve, you never want to paint D. Because D, I think, is when the hands are attached, it should be the clear of the body skin so that's just another useful trick to know so um just a fun fact to know now now what if we want to get this the same length this is where we take our measurements from here which as you can see i actually noticed that it didn't paint this area oops i went off the grid which wouldn't hurt but in this state i want to keep myself on the grid but anyway from there once we have the marking from there, we just take it, drag it there, 
and of course we need to line it up with this one then we drag the line in here at the beginning of this one and then just take this and drag it all the way to this side and just paint all this so paint all this okay that's all been painted and then we just do the same thing here I like to it doesn't make a big difference with this blue because that's just the cutting point but I'd like to kind of fill this area up right here so that way it, it, it looks like it's detached when it folds even though it's each piece by piece now the ones that will fold is well maybe like I said it's a piece by piece it divides each piece and folds it together but it's spread out to uh, the way it folds and stuff so anyway so we're gonna go ahead and pause for a bit and just to get some fun stuff here okay so now that I have rendered in some parts let's go ahead and put them in that way we have them all right so this shirt's gonna be a little bit of a cheeky one yes be cheeky indeed so first things first we want to reduce the size because these things come out by 10,000 by 10,000 and if we go to do our schematic of this mind you so let's uh, but size because it's got the border and it's got all the diagram layout. So let us try a one, a hundred, and it's going to be the same thing. So my plan is to make king half the size, but make something else a little bigger. Yeah. So let's make this 120. You'll see the idea. Oops, you need to go down. Okay, it might look pretty. It might not look pretty, but we're gonna go with this. Then we're gonna go ahead and paint over. So this is under this. So now that we got that all selected, let me check the bottom. Bottom's all selected. We shall now go ahead and close our very uh, our diagram or measurement size there, whatever you want to call it. And we shall paint over this. And we're going to paint the top and bottom. Personally, you want to paint these because I've noticed where some people don't paint it. And for the RP concept, that makes sense, but it's kind of weird. That's why, for those that are curious, why I have a black torso, that's why. Because a black torso kind of just covers up that awkwardness and yeah. Okay, now, the final touch is this. Now you don't, you're probably wondering, what is this? This here is the effect that puts the wrinkle in our design. Now you can download this, I have a link in the description below of the image which will come up as a full screen image. You can right click on that to download it and you can use it. But first things first, we need to transfer this over. All right, we're gonna place it on top. Now, see it does the text, the effect here. That's a problem. We need to get rid of that. So that's why you must select over this layer. Let's go there. Um, okay, we're gonna adjust that layer. Okay. Once you adjust there, okay, we're gonna go outside the layer. Then we're gonna do Control X, and that gets rid of that. All right, now we're gonna close this. Voila. Now we could do the extra effects to put the texture over the top of that, but I'm not going to, that's up to you. Now, let's go ahead and just save this as a template. So we're going to go ahead and file, export as 
83. Uh, King JPD test. And we're going to put it on the documents file. And we're going to explain. Now, the next thing is we're going to launch up studios. Now, for this next trick, or n trick of the day, is we're going to test the clothing. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, we're going to have to upload the Roblox. No, we don't have to do that. There is a plugin out there that is called Clothing Preview. And this plugin is kind of like the load file importer it's kind of based off that same reference but the only difference is this one is designed for clothing so first things first let us bring in some characters for us to attest this on actually we'll bring in me we'll bring in me for example because why not so let's go ahead and bring in me so here's me you can see I this does not spawn an origin, but for this state we don't care for this because we're not we're not like uh, you know exploring exploring to uh, blend or anything. So let's go ahead and load this up. So let's find it. All right, here it is. We're gonna launch this. So here it is. We're gonna click click on me and yeah, it's kind of real blurry. But, this is basically the idea of it, of showing. Now, if I was to remove this, so if I was to remove my characters, which I'm going to do, because I think they're not going to look pretty as I thought they were. The bad thing about Roblox in this is you cannot make a lot. You can't really do much with the room of texture and all that. It does not, like, it's so small, it's it's really blurry. So, now we know that doesn't work, we're going to remove the plugin. Keeps it there, but... Excuse me. If we was to import it again, without that. Now you see that looks so much better. It actually looks pretty smooth. And that's what now as you can see I could have probably added a little more to it, but this is what short seats look like. Now if I didn't leave if I didn't cut out the uh, the shaders or the, the the you know the wrinkles, I like to call it then you would have noticed it on my arm so yeah pretty much this is how you make um you test clothing you make it and all that so yeah uh not much like i said uh, we tried to make something and it didn't work out so yeah um there is going to be an announcement as well stay tuned for that i might consider doing some uh, offside business within the roblox but apart from that yeah if you, this video uh helped you out a lot and also showed you something very useful it's time consuming you no longer have to upload stuff to uh roblox to just test your clothing out make sure you give a like and if you're new to the channel you don't want to miss any other videos not much like these i only do these whenever you know i feel like that people should know these kind of tricks to save themselves some time consuming and not struggle with roblox and all that with all this kind of stuff uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you don't miss any other videos that i have not much like these but other ones i got apart from that i have been your host chip in the manga you've been the young snap i'll see you all next time goodbye everybody